Hoyoverse might be cooking something big for Genshin Impact, and it seems they're finally paying attention to our feedbacks. Recently, there was news in the Genshin community that Hoyoverse was searching for creators to develop permanent in-game content, and this advertisement banner confirms that claim. According to this, they're seeking people familiar with games like Minecraft and Roblox, especially those with experience in creating content within those games. This was a clear indication that they had plans for Genshin Endgame content. And yesterday, we received news that we might get another version of the Spiral Abyss in version 4.7. According to leaks from FY and Chalice, Hoyoverse is working on a new type of abyss. They mentioned that this abyss will be different from the current Spiral Abyss, it has one room per floor, and features a spin mechanics that is new to Genshin Impact and hasn't been used before. They also said that some players are going to love this new endgame content, while others are going to hate it. This might be an indication of the difficulty level of this new abyss. And yes, it will give you primo gems as well, so don't worry about that, but the exact number of primo gems are unknown at the moment. Some rumors suggest that the new abyss will be character region specific, giving different buffs and debuffs based on the region of the characters you are using, but none of these rumors are reliable, so take them with a grain of salt. There could be many reasons why they might be doing this, but the one reason I can think of is the release of Wuthering Waves and Azure Promelia. I participated in the recent closed beta test of Wuthering Waves, and I totally love the combat system. The boss enemies are extremely difficult to beat, they can literally one-shot you, which they did to me, several times. And it's not just the combat, Wuthering Waves has quickly gathered players' attention in a short period of time due to the improvements they made in the way they listened to our feedbacks. So Hoyoverse might have realized this, and they're now trying to bring some changes. And to be honest, Genshin desperately needs new endgame content, as the potential of the combat system in the game is completely lost once we max our characters. On contrary to Genshin, Honkai Star Rail has done an amazing job with its endgame content, because they constantly add new stuff every few versions. But Hoyoverse has finally started doing it for Genshin, and this could be seen in the way they're continuously adding new quality of life features to Genshin Impact. In version 4.6, we will get a new version of the Treasure Compass. After the 4.6 update, when you use the treasure compass, a chest icon will appear on the mini-map, and we will automatically start tracking it. This is only one of the changes, we are also getting some map navigation, teapot settings, and quest navigation changes. So at least they're trying now. Well, that's it for today, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an update.